What's up, Android users? Tekken Me is back. And what is this we have? Ooh la la. Android in 3D. So let's get to it. This time we have another launcher. It's a 3D launcher. It's called SBP Shell 3D. It's pretty expensive on the Android market. But is it worth it? So let's get the review started. So as you can see, basically, let's get, what? Okay. So this is the basic home screen you have um, right over here. This is the home screen. As you can see, it's indicated down there by home. And then you have different pages you can get to. Okay. So it starts off, you have a couple of applications. You have your widget for calendar, which comes with the launcher. And then you have this weather page, which is showing you the weather. It's raining here. And then you have whatever, Flickr. That's another widget for this launcher. Then you have the time widget, the clock widget. And let's see what's here. We have the gallery and we have world time and we have a couple of apps. We have a couple of messages and other stuff and tools. So what's so cool about this new launcher? Um, let's see. Like I showed you, this is the preview, like the sense previews, but this this one is in 3D. Like you can switch between uh, between home screens just by circling, as you can see right over there. Sorry about the glare. Okay, and if you stop at a, a particular screen, let's say let's stop at this pictures right over there we stop and boom we see an animation we stop here and boom we have another animation let's show you all the animations for this one it's the calendar animation comes in shows you the calendars and then that's about it yep then it goes to the next one and let's see what we have here oh ding ding some pictures and nope, oh, it's just circling the same pictures over and over. And then what? Will, what? What is this? World clock. Yeah, that's 3D. But no functionality. It's just cool to look at. So whatever. If you want to make your friends jealous, this is the app for you, people. And uh, that that's the messaging. And then you have the folders for tools. yeah that's about it <laughs> okay so that's that now if you want to add another page you can add as many pages as you want suppose Ooh, not home okay uh, let's click right over there you see that small little button right there yeah, you click that one and then we get to this page and we can add more pages or we can take out pages so let's keep that as it was okay mm, that's about it so is this launcher worth it no settings whatsoever really expensive ten dollars plus on the market and but the widgets are cool I wish we could use these widgets for our launchers like ADW or whatever but I like the widgets I especially like the gallery widget like could you just zoom in you have to pick See, you can just slide across for more pictures. Isn't that cool? I think that's awesome. Uh, clock widget. No, this is. Um, you can turn that around. See which time. So it's kind of cool. I wish we could use these widgets, but we can't. Like right there. See, I can flip through my messages, my most recent messages. That's my contacts and. That's about it. And you have your app drawer right over here on the corner. Uh, vertical, no settings whatsoever. Like I said earlier. It's a pretty small review, I'd say. That's about it. Um, clock. You can set many different clocks you have. 
they're loading still. So that's clocks. Let's see if we like this one. Let's just loading. And it should be done, I guess. Nope, it's not done. Whatever. Um, pictures, let's see. You can view different pictures from Flickr. This is from Flickr. Suppose I want something picture. Some picture is my wallpaper, like, let's say, that one. I can just hold it right there and then see options set as wallpaper open browser download original so that's that um, if I hold on the home screen or whatever I get these options add a folder empty panel add a program SBP widget Android widgets or Android shortcuts let's add a folder let's see what happens so we got a folder right over there and if you can see clearly it's kind of subtle let's add this camera to the oh we can't add to the folder can we huh okay so as you can see this is like iPhone you can move it around see you can go from page to page if I don't like it I can drop it down here and then go to page that I wanted I want it right here and I can put it up right here boom <laughs> So that's kind of neat. So it's got some neat tricks, but not really that handy for me. I I don't think I'm gonna keep it. And let's get back to the folder. Let's see what happened to that folder. Okay. How do we add apps to you, folder buddy? Aha! There you go. One app added. So you hold it right onto the folder. So let's see. Let's add another one and boom so that's adding apps another cool part about the folder is if you click and hold on it I can change the size of the folder like do I want it long do I want it that big or do I want it tiny so that's kinda cool and that's about it um, so would you like did you like it did you not like it I didn't like it but I thought it was kind of cool to make your friends jealous, so yeah, that's about it. Um, that's it for now. Uh, if you like what you saw, if you like the app, click a thumbs up. And that's it for now. I'll be back with another video shortly, right? Actually, I'm going to make it right now, right after this. It's going to be an app roundup. All right. So take care and wait on. Sorry, sorry about the delay for making the video. It took too long. I got caught up with some things, but that's it. I'm back now. I was sick for a while. So I'm back with one video. I'll be uploading this and I'll be back with another one. All right, guys. Thank you for subscribing and everything. And make sure you click the th thumbs up. I'm still kind of sick. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.